everyone. I'm so glad you joined us for this segment on Welcome Home because I hope your sweet tooth is there ready for you to try something yummy. Thank you, John Rivers, You're for being welcome, here Robert. with us You're today. Very, very welcome. You know, the sweet shop is a big part of your smoke houses and the coop as well, right? It is. It's been there from day one. Yes. A very smart smoke house we had. That's very smart. Not only do we want the good, nutritious food, but we want to have something sweet. Exactly. Right? It makes exactly. us happy. And just like everything in the smokehouse, it can't just be regular. We got to do it up to you know, the I highest know. potential that we can. I so know. today we're going to take a old classic favorite, mm -hmm. the Rice Krispie Treat. Right. And see what we can do to it to make it a little bit special. Only you. <laughs> Only you would think to make a Rice Krispie Treat special. All right. All what right. are we going to do to it? So we're going to go ahead and take our marshmallows. Yes. Okay. And we're just going to slow simmer them in some butter. Okay. Okay. So that they melt down. Now I'm going to put these in here. And I'm going to show you a trick that I kind of learned the hard way, you know, because marshmallows get so sticky. Mm -hmm. And look at them just running yeah. everywhere <laughs> like that. They are just the wild rebellious. Mar Make sure we don't buy these kind again, Jen, okay? All right. <laughs> you want the big kind, right? Yes. You like the big ones. Here's the trick I learned. You know, if you're going to try to spatula and move this thing uh -huh. around, you know, it'll stick on here. So, so spray your stick. Spray your stick. Uh -huh. Or, you know, another trick that you can do is actually take plastic wrap and put oh, it on the outside. Interesting. And, and that helps a whole lot. That's too. Wrap. It's not going to melt? No, no. Okay. Not in John Rivers' kitchen. Nothing goes wrong in John Rivers' kitchen. Everything works. Right. Speaking of, you know why I love cooking with you? Why? I meant to tell this to our viewers today. Part of the reason this is so much fun is because John Rivers is in ministry all over the place. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your latest venture because I think this is so great with Okoy. Oh, this one we're, we're very excited about. Yeah. You know, we um, are very concerned about the quality of the produce of food that's going into the public school system. Right. And quite frankly, hard. Do you know that the average produce in the United States travels 1,800 oh, miles to no. get to a plate? All yeah, of ours. That's ridiculous. And really, especially right. when you're here in Florida, yes. which is so rich in nutrients right. and weather, so exactly. you shouldn't be doing that. And we can grow things 12 months out of the year, so we should be buying locally. And so this is going to give kids, students, everybody an opportunity to have local produce. Well, you know, if we're going to change the community, you have to start with the youth. Yeah. So we're going to put a greenhouse and three high schools nice. and, and teach the kids how to grow hydroponically. Okay. And uh, so we've teamed up with the University of Florida and oh, IFAS oh, and uh, we're working with the um, Okoe High School uh -huh. and uh, we'll have our first greenhouse there by the next uh, school season. That is wonderful. What a great thing. That's why I love you, John Rivers. You just are always thinking progressively and making sure that there are things out there for our youth. You're I very thought it was just my desserts. No, well, that's a big part <laughs> of it. That's true. <laughs> All right. If you hold this, yes. I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to spray this mm -hmm. so once again it doesn't stick on us okay okay you know it's it's a tricky business with um you know, marshmallows you know, tricky because they're sticky go ahead and throw this, that i'm in putting there. this yes, in here now yes please all right and this is going to take a little while to okay. melt down and you want it to be nice and smooth mm -hmm. okay and we're going to roll it in there you know one of the nice things about rice krispie treats is that you don't have to bake them uh -huh. You know, it's very yeah, easy. Right. You know, this is the only heat that you have to deal with. So you can do this with small children as long as you watch out for this particular you can. step. Okay. Now, years ago, I made one that was had so many different flavors. I put some butterscotch in there. Oh, I love butterscotch. Oh, I do Ooh, too. We put yum. little pieces, I think, caramel in there. Mm. Oh, it was so delicious. Okay. And why are we not doing that today? I know. That's I what I'm thinking. I understand. I'm, I know. You know. Actually, I haven't seen that recipe in about five or that six years. That sounds really good. Right, you so. are the master of flavors. You like mm -hmm. to do a lot of different flavors. I, I love that about your cooking. I, I do think that's one of the secrets and mm -hmm. keys, you know, to cooking. One, you got to love it. Yes. You, know, you really do have to. And have you do passion. love it, right? And two, it's it's layering of flavors. Yes. You know, and they don't have to be complex, mm -hmm. but you can combine. You know, I love sweet and savory. Yeah. In particular, and when you're able to put those two together, mm -hmm. it really is nice. Have you ever done this and you burned the bottom of your pan, or you, you're just so good adept at this that it's? Just... You know, it's a coated one. Yeah. That makes a big difference yeah. as well. But it can't burn then if it's oh, coated? Oh, sure, I can burn it. <laughs> we start talking long enough. you're doing so well. You're doing great there. Well, you know, we, you know where people make a lot of mistakes and burn things is when they turn away. Uh -huh. And they work on something else. Mm -hmm. um, if you're making like a roux or something, yeah. you just can't leave it. You just haven't left that for a second. Yes. So that's important yes, to do. That's right. Okay. It, it's kind of nice that we're confined to this one space and I can't get that distracted. <laughs> <laughs> are marshmallows just like 100% sugar? Is that pretty much what they're made of? They are, yes. 
Yes, it's okay. uh, it's sugar. Yeah. And um, actually, our bakers make fresh marshmallows. Well, of course. And oh, it's John Rivers. Uh, not me. No? This is Amanda and oh, Jenny and, oh. and Andrew. Oh my goodness! And the, okay. the flavor difference between yeah. a homemade and a, um, a store is it's incredible. A homemade marshmallow. Yes. And that, when matter of fact, when you go to the sweet shop, that's what we're using. Of course. Is actually homemade. And you think I'm surprised? Oh, and then you can surprised. flavor the marshmallow uh -huh. as you're making it. Okay, you can well, put, you know, caramel chocolate, in there, chocolate, peanut butter, cinnamon, uh, <laughs> bourbon. You know, okay. you can put all kind of things in there. Okay. All right. Normally, I would like this to go a little bit smoother. Yeah. But let's go ahead and, and make it now. Okay. Now you see, it's nice. Nothing is sticking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I sprayed the inside of this as well. I guess right. you probably should go this way toward them, huh? There we go. <laughs> There we go. Nice. You've, you've seen it before. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> All right, that is coming out. Okay. Okay, now we're going to use the same spatula. Oh, this is a messy business. Yeah. We're in. All right, go ahead and, and mix that around yes, a little sir. bit. Now, this is another trick. As you're doing that, you know, sometimes when you, what you're going to do is we're going to put it into a baking sheet, a pan like this, okay? Now, I can either really spray this heavily. Yes. Or what I can do is take some parchment paper mm -hmm. and put it here. Okay. Or you can put uh, aluminum foil okay. or even plastic. Oh. And that's a nice way okay. so that when it's done, I'll show you how easy it is to pick it up. Okay. And it's going to pull right out. Right. All right. Okay. So once that's all combined. This is pretty close, right? Okay, sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not John Rivers. That I'm you're Barbara doing, you're Beck a, in the kitchen. This Barbara is Barbara Beck, Beck, Beck in the kitchen. It's not a John Rivers segment. All right. That's you a good make show. Me it's, work it's so a, hard, John. Oh, this is very that hard. That looks fantastic. I know. I watch him, I'm watching him do this. You want to really get in there, no, right? No, you are doing fantastic. All right. I tell you what. Let's go ahead. We're just going to pour it in. Okay. And all it's going to do is you want to set it in there and shape it. You know, which you want. You can use your hands for that. Uh -huh. And and really get it to lay flat and uh -huh. make a nice even square. But I'll tell you what we're going to do. To so save time. To save a little bit right. of time. I'm going to move these. Okay. Okay. And we have one that's done. Now you'll really see the benefit. Oh, thank you. Sure. Of this paper. If you hold the pan. Oh, magic. Isn't that nice? Yes, it's very nice. So now, you know, there's so many times you're trying to get in there, you know, with a spatula or something. Uh -huh. And you end up really cutting it up. All right. So... Now, you can decide on how big of pieces you like. We'll make nice, even cuts with it. I love how you made it so perfectly, but that is because of this parchment paper. It really paper. is. That was brilliant. It, it really nice. makes a big, big difference. Right. Okay. Now, this is sat for a good hour or so, uh -huh. so that it really comes together. Okay. But now we want to make it special. Right. Okay. So I'm going to take my squares. Right now, I have a number of different items here, okay? <laughs> and we're going to start with a uh, ganache, okay? And a ganache is some heavy cream that is melted down with some sugar, okay, and chocolate, all right? And that's what makes it nice and creamy, the, the cream plus the, the chocolate itself. Wow. I'm going to dip it about halfway in there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, my good ganache. Okay, okay. Oh, my ganache. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I tell you what, shall we dip it or sprinkle it? Uh, I, I, I'm totally defer totally. to you. Yes, right. totally. Let's do a nice dip. How oh. pretty. Oh, that's looking good, Look good, good. Look how fun that Lovely. is. Lovely. I love it. Oh, my grandchildren are going to love this. They love anything with sprinkles they're crazy about. Yay. All right. We've never done this, by the way. This is brand new edge cutting TV a you're watching. A new recipe okay. right here on Welcome Home. Right, and this here. I've never <laughs> seen before. This I've never tried. But it looks so interesting. <laughs> I thought, what the heck? Let's try it on national right, TV for absolutely. the first time with yes. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking with John okay. Rivers and Barbara, brand new, exclusively. You've seen it here for the first time you ever. Ready? This, this is, is a chocolate dust. Chocolate. Uh, I'm sorry, a gold dust. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh. yeah. And children, <laughs> will they not love that? Oh, how oh fun. I love Look at that. This. I like that. Oh, yay. Now, is this healthy? Oh, sure. <laughs> I, I don't mean healthy. I mean, is it safe? Yeah, oh, yes, Gold yes, dust. yes. It's not like something no, that's no, not edible. No, no, it's a sugar. It's yeah. so beautiful, though. It's sugar. Okay. And, oh, how fun. Okay, Isn't so that neat? Um, are you ready to taste? Which one would you like, ma'am? Oh, uh, which one would you like, sir? Hmm. <laughs> I've got to try the gold, but <laughs> you know, right, I'm absolutely fascinated with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to see you eat the gold. The gold oh, ganache. We can is that even, what it is? Yes, yes. We can even double dip it, I bet, and get lots of chocolate on there. Oh, boy. You ready? Oh, boy, I'm ready. Okay, we're going in. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, mm. the chocolate's good. Uh huh. Chocolate's very I good. I like that. Oh, I'm going to tell my bakers about this. Mm. What could be any better mm. than cooking in the kitchen with John Rivers? Thank you so much again for being here with us. These <laughs> are yummy. Welcome. No, this is fun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dump it in these, too.